my embarrassing story about the Yingling Brewery. Uh, one weekend, I was in uh, Philadelphia, and I had some time to kill. <laughs> and so I thought, well, let's go to uh, the Yingling Brewery. It's not that far, I don't think. And welcome back to the Beer Garden during Oktoberfest, beer drinking season, my favorite time of the year to drink beer. If you're here because you love beer and why else would you be, let's be honest, please click that subscribe button because I have low self-esteem and more subscribers and followers makes me feel really good about myself because we all live on the internet nowadays. All right, it is Oktoberfest season and another huge viewer request for another Yingling Oktoberfest, uh, another revisit, I guess I should say. Uh, I've uh, done Yingling Oktoberfest, I think, every year since 2020, back when the whole pandemic thing started and I started doing this brew review. And Yingling says they don't change up their recipe. They haven't changed it since 1829, I think it is. And uh, however, I've noticed year to year a little bit difference in taste. I don't know if that's because Yingling ain't telling the truth or just naturally as we get older our tastes change. That's probably more likely it. However, uh, it is a new year, a new Oktoberfest season, so uh, let's try it again. Check out my previous brew reviews of Yingling Oktoberfest from 2021 and 2020 to see what I think about them. This time it's uh, time to pop the top and see what we got. I don't know why I'm popping the top with a... Uh, with a bottle opener because, I mean, Yingling is a screw-off cap, which is one of my first signs that it is a cheap beer. Yingling Seasonal Oktoberfest $7.99 for a six-pack. Time for the pour. Always remember it is good beer etiquette never to touch the bottle to the glass when you're pouring. All right, very nice Oktoberfest color. I like that. Pretty much what it looks like. That could be a clear bottle. <laughs> it's, Nice malty characteristics. What am I looking for in an Oktoberfest beer? Uh, I was born in Germany and lived in Germany eh, a little bit, and uh, I, I love me some German beer, especially Oktoberfest and Fest beer. I love it. And so I'm very particular about it. I like the yeastiness to it, uh, the maltiness to it. I don't want a balanced beer. I don't. I want low hops, uh, higher malt, and a nice coppery color. Usually with German beers, uh, you have a nice frothy head in them. Uh, this does not have that. Albeit Yingling has a German birthright. Uh, German immigrants came to uh, Pennsylvania and founded America's oldest brewery. I gotta tell you a story, an embarrassing story about uh, the Yingling Brewery and myself uh, coming up just after uh, the drink here. But stick around for this story. Uh, I am getting a little bit of that yeasty underbelly smell, odor, uh, aroma, a little bit of malt. Time for the liquid to hit the lips, and I don't want to drink alone. Grab yourself a beer. Post to Oktoberfest season. Oops, they did it again. Coming up at the end of this brew review, I'm gonna rate Yingling Oktoberfest out of five stars. How good a cheap brew is it? But first, the story that I promised you about my embarrassing story about the Yingling Brewery. Uh, one weekend, I was in uh, Philadelphia and I had some time to kill. <laughs> and so I thought, well, let's go to uh, the Yingling Brewery. It's not that far, I don't think. So I uh, jumped in my car and drove to Pottstown, Pennsylvania. And uh, so I, I didn't know exactly where the brewery was, but I figure eh, it's a small town. You can't miss it, I wouldn't think. I'll just look for some billboards or signs. And so I'm going along the interstate and I see exit for Pottstown and uh, I see no signs of a brewery or, or anything. I don't see anything. And so I come to a stoplight and somebody's standing on the street corner and says, excuse me, can you tell me where the brewery is? And they just kind of looked at me like I had two heads and said, no, sorry. And I thought, light turns green, so I drive on. I said, that's odd. Small town, they don't know where the brewery is. And so I drive to the next light. Again, red, I stop. Somebody's crossing the street and says, excuse me, 
can you tell me where the brewery is? And again, they're like, no, no idea. I'm like, this is bizarre. All right, let me call my friend who toured the brewery. Uh, he can for sure tell me where the brewery is in Pottstown. And uh, so he answered the phone and says, hey, Danny, um, I'm here in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, and where's the where's the Yingling Brewery? I, nobody seems to know where it is. And he goes, where are you? And I said, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. And he goes, you mean Pottsville? I said, no, I'm in Pottstown. He goes, the brewery's in Pottsville. <laughs> Which is apparently not Pottstown. And Pottstown's nowhere near Pottsville. There's my embarrassing story. Now back to the brew, uh, I did get a little bit of that malty taste to it. I don't know where the yeast went, I don't taste it, but I got that weird sort of like a soda pop fizz in my mouth. And then again, that cheap metallic aftertaste. And so if you like Yingling, you'll like Yingling Oktoberfest. It tastes extremely similar to the traditional lager. All right, so how many stars out of five stars am I going to give Yingling Oktoberfest as a cheap Oktoberfest beer? Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to choose the number. I'm going to let that number come to me out of five stars, five being a very good cheap Oktoberfest brew. Where would I rank Yingling Oktoberfest? I'm waiting for that number to come to me. Uh, in my mind's eye, I'm seeing the number three. I'm seeing point, the number zero, and the number three, 3.03. Hmm. If I was gonna rate it myself, it probably would be lower than that. Anyway, hey, appreciate you hanging in there for another brew review revisited of Yingling Oktoberfest 2022. Please tap that subscribe button if you haven't done so, so far. And please, comments, questions, concerns, other beers you would like me to review. Hey, it's a beautiful day here in the beer garden in the presence of uh, the Grand Fig. I, I completely forgot to mention the Grand Fig. And hey, grab yourself a beer and drink that beer. Cheers. <laughs>